Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? It's your boy, The Ghettoographer, a.k.a. Pastor Tech, coming back at you with another unboxing video. And today, we're going to be unboxing this puppy right here. This is Whole Helm's iSteady M6 Kit. This right here is a three-axis smartphone stabilizer with full light and AI vision sensor. This puppy right here will cost you around about $167 right now. Um, $167.99 normally goes for about $209 and we're going to read some of the specs on here is um, you can put up to 400G payload full light with AI vision sensor OLED status panel a multi functional control wheel 360 infinite inception and new 3 axis design free movement I steady 7.0 anti shaking system and DC out for phone charging. So let's get to the eagle eye view. But before we get there, please do me a favor please like, share, and subscribe. Thank everybody for the growth of the channel. So please give us a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. And please hit the notification bell icon so you'll be notified when we drop any. New video. This should be a long unboxing video. So let's get to the Eagle Eye View. All right, everybody, we're in the Eagle Eye View. And today, our unboxing knife is going to be this right here. So let's go ahead and get it open. Oh, it's all working. Put this up so I won't cut myself. All right, let's get this open. All right, here we go. Now, my box is okay. This is how I mean, the box is big. Everything that comes in the box. See that? All right, let's get this open. Uh, open on the side for All right, so here we go. Okay, we got this here. There's nothing else in here. That's it. Okay, guys, nothing else in here. So put that aside. So, okay, it came in with a case. I like that. Well, case, okay, I like that. Let's go ahead and open it up. See what's in here. This is more going to be an unboxing because I don't know how to use it so okay here we go that's everything that's in here so we have the instructions so please don't throw these away we have a tripod a mini tripod okay 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 cool mini tripod pretty decent okay well tripod mini okay Let's go in here. What's in here? This right here should be carbon cable. Okay, so we have this right here USB C. USB C. This is what? Type C to Type C for Android phone charging. Okay. This is to charge up the actual unit. USB-C to USB-A. Pretty good. Okay, so we got to come with two of these. All right, anything else in here? And here goes the main unit. This is how the main unit looks, guys. I'm going to have to put it this way so you can see it. The main unit looks because it's kind of too long. Let me back it up a little bit. All right, here we go. Back it up just a little bit. So you can see that here go where the phone go. Right here. You have the light and the AI sensor to go up here. It comes off. Okay, I like that. So the AI sensor comes off. You can see underneath where the ping go. All right, it's magnetic. Okay, so we have, you can just size it up right here. So you can size it up. That's cool. So right here is where you could charge the phone. That's the output. 
So basically, it, it, it could use the battery from the whole helm, from the iSteady, to keep the, the phone charged, which is pretty good. You have your knob. You have your A and B. You have this right here. You have the actual screen with the knob. You have this right here for memory, I guess, for info memory. And on this side, I guess you could put something there as an attachment. You have your on, and you have your, oh, oh. let's get that off. That was that didn't come off right. There we go. Uh, that kind of sucks, but we'll get that off in a little bit. Got your N for your charging. Sorry, guys. N for your charge. You have the on and off button right there. And in the back, you have, we're going to have to find out where all these are. You have the lock. That says lock underneath. You see right there, lock. You have your trigger. And then on the bottom, you have it where you can put your your, your tripod. There we go. So that's how it looks right now. So why don't we do this? Why don't we go ahead and um, charge it up, see how it charges up, and go from there. All right, guys, be right back. Yo, what's up, everybody? I'm back. Let's give it the charge. I did read the usual manual. It didn't say nothing about um, fast or rapid charging. So I would tell you just to use a regular charger, no fast charging for this. We're going to put it up, put it in, see how it... You know, there you go. That's how you know it's charging. Let's take this off. So it has a LOD, a little... So it's supposed to be an LED, LOD, OLED panel. It's an LED, OLED panel. Sorry, guys. Right there. So you see it's charging up. So it has two charge. So what we're going to do before we get into that, we're going to go ahead and show you the app that you have to have. This is the app you have to have right here. You have to install that app. So we're going to install that app. So while we're installing the app, now we're going to open the app. We're going to agree. And there we go. We have Now we have to sync it. So what we're going to do, come over here. You see, I did take the table. We're going to hit this button here, turn it on. You're going to have to hold it until I guess. Now it's on. Oh, you see that? So it's on. So we want to take the unlock. Okay. How do I unlock? I don't know how to unlock nothing on here yet. We'll find out in a minute. So how do we pair this? Uh, let's see how we pair this. Uh, let me go ahead and register everything. I got to register. Be right back, guys. Before we pair it up, I want to show you something, guys. Now, this right here, if you can see it right here, is a locking mechanism on the actual um, gimbal. So when you turn it on, if you don't unlock it, it'll tell you right there to unlock it. So how do you unlock it? So let's go ahead and turn the power off. We don't want to break nothing. What you're going to want to do, you're just going to want to twist it. If it's facing this way, you're going to want to twist it backwards. So this is just a little, a little forwards. I'm sorry, forwards, not backwards, forwards. See? So then when you turn it on, everything works. 
Okay. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and um pair it up. We're gonna, we're gonna hit new device. And there you go. It's right there. Hit it. And we hit pair. And it's paired up. It says connecting. So it's connected. As you can see, it's connected. So what we'll do, we'll go back and we'll go to the actual So I ask you for permissions. I'll say while using this app, I'll say connect. It's already connected. As we got all the permissions loaded, and as you can see, let's go. Let's see if we can go back out. So what we're going to do? We're going to go ahead, take it out of this, and we're going to go ahead and put it in here. And I do like the way these are positioned, guys, because these have little ridges so the buttons won't get pressed. Some of them don't have those little ridges so the buttons won't get pressed. So what we'll do, we'll make sure we center this the way it needs to be centered. Then what we'll do... We'll go ahead and turn it on. Now I'll do this in a regular view. I'm just trying to see how it how it functions. Because it said the camera needs to be pointed that way. And what we'll do, we'll turn it on. Now this is my first time really using this guy, so you have to excuse me. Okay. Now I know you can't really see how we're going to turn it in the view that you can see it. But this is how it looks. So what we'll do, we turn it here and we'll see if we go, okay, there we go. We do that, comes up so we can see that it is working. It is working, we got video. You can see right here, I'm trying to get it to where it's like a, kind of hard to control, I'm learning. You can see you have your, the gear means your settings you have right here follow face tracking um you have you can go from 740 i mean 720p 1080p 4k and video frame uh video frame rate you got 24 25 30 60 you have auto i mean auto white balance and everything you have home take it back to the home you hit that take you back here you have all these up here, which I have to find out. That's for if you want to have your um your light, your flash in the back come on. You have POV view and everything right here. You even have the battery power of the actual um unit right there. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to turn on this the light. Turn it on and see how that go. So it came on. I don't know how I'm gonna have to figure out how to use that. Um I have to figure out how to use that. Let's see if we can turn it around here. You can see you can see me, everything behind me. So we're gonna have to figure out how to use that. So why don't we do this? Why don't we get into the regular view? Let's go ahead and turn that back around. I feel like looking at my ugly face. Well, we could do this too before we get there. In here you have this is type some of the stuff you have. Let me get it right here. You have pan, pano. You have photo, video. You have time lapse. You have slow motion. You have movement. Uh, we ain't gonna do that. Okay. All uh, right. Hopefully. So I guess that will give you some type of video setting or help you with videos, stuff like that. So, hey guys, I do like it. And we could go here to go to video. You see, boom, right there. So, you, I guess you have hand suggestions right here. Follow and shoot. 
You got you have gesture control. So that's cool. So this 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 app is pretty good. So why don't we get back to the regular view? So we can see if we can use this, you know, just for a tad, tad bit and give you my final thoughts. Well, really not the final thoughts, just this just gonna be a you gonna have you unboxing. So let's get to, back to the regular view. Yo, everybody, welcome back to the regular view. I'm going to give you my final thoughts on the whole Helm iSteady M6 three-axis gimbal for your smartphone. And before I give you my final thoughts, it's not going to be a review. It's going to be just I work with it for about a, maybe an hour or so trying to figure it out. And I do like it. it's going to take me a while to figure it out. But one thing I want to show you guys that um, – I tried to look it up and try to you know, see if anybody else was having this problem. But when I had set it up, like I'm doing now, I put the phone on. Now here go the, this is the, the AI module that you stick on top of here. And so what I did was, I put this in, and I'm gonna tell you what not to do. When you have your phone in like this and you unloosen it, if your phone automatically falls over like this, don't turn it on. Um, I had an overheating issue happen in this motor right here. It told me it's overheating. I didn't understand why I looked it up. Um, couldn't find nothing on it. But what I believe it was because it's not centered, um, it's not, um, I'm gonna say centered, but it's not balanced correctly. When you turn it on, because it's not balanced correctly, you end up putting more strain on that, on this right here. So what you wanna do, you want to um, balance your phone. And how do you do that is that there's a there's a lever right here and you have this you pull this lever down this lever 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 whatever right here and what you have to do you have to literally start trying to balance it so that it that it stays kind of in the middle so yeah it goes from one it goes from zero all the way to five, depending on how heavy your phone is. So for the Samsung Galaxy 23 Ultra, it's literally about right before you hit, about one and a half, right before you hit two, can you clamp it? Now everything is, and there you go, it is literally, if you can have it like that and it's not moving, like that, you see how I have it guys? And it's not moving. That means you're not putting any extra pressure on this motor right here. So when I do turn it on, like everything is done, it's, it's, been, it's been, you know, leveled right. There you go. Now that means at, at that time, it's not, um, I said, what it mean? So basically it's not putting no strain on this motor and you shouldn't get an overheating problem because if it's out of, if it's not positioned right and it's going one way or the other, that means you're putting more strain on the motor. Now, if I'm wrong, hopefully somebody in Hohem, I steady, um, Hohem or somebody, another YouTube content creator who has a better understanding of how this works can say whether I'm right or wrong. But as soon as I cut it on, I had let it flop, it flipped up, and then all of a sudden it says, I'm um, overheating, overheating, and then it shut down. And then it stayed kind of hot for a while. I was like, damn, why is it hot? It stayed kind of hot for a while, but because I didn't have the phone leveled right. Now that the phone is leveled right, you shouldn't get those that problem with your motors overheating. Now, and doing that, I figured that out. I was happy with that. I said, okay, cool. So now, one thing I'm going to show you is that this has two different type of, um, two different type of um, AI tracking. I mean, well, tracking. You can do the AI module that's up here on top, 
And what you have to do, I test it out, it works. You have to do this. Hold on, you have to cut it on, I'm sorry. Got to cut it on first. You'll see it, the red light come on. You'll see it'll blink. That means it's, it's on. So what you do, you do this, and it automatically sees it. You see it's tracking me now. You see it moving, it's tracking me. It's tracking me, so that's cool. And then if you want to cut it off, then you can just go ahead and hit this, and it cuts it off. Good feature. Let me push this back a little bit so you can see. Now, there's another way where you tap the screen and you use, um, and it puts a little green box, and that's not done through the AI. That's done through the app using um, the iSteady. So it's done through the app, and you can see it's very responsive. Up and down. I go around here, go around here, and it does it. So, I like it. I like that it's easy to turn off, turn on. Um, easy to turn off, turn on. And so I do like the whole helm. I study the little bit I got to use of it, just trying to figure it out. Um, again, I'm going to have to do some. Um, I got to get into it to, to really review it. But this is not a review. It's just something you know, that um, that you can use, um, that you can, like I said, this is not a review, but more of a, my initial thoughts on um, the gimbal. And I think it's, it has this use case scenario. It's very high tech. Um, I, I do like it. Now, one thing I, um, I got this piece right here now. I should have showed you this in the Eagle Eye View, but I forgot this thing was here. You have a out port right here. So this is how you charge up. Keep your phone charged, and it does work. Keep your phone charged when you are using a gimbal. Say if you need to charge up your phone while using a gimbal, you just plug it in there, plug it in, and it's not fast charging. Well, it does say it says fast charging, so sorry. It says fast charging. Let's see, make sure it says fast charging again. Is it fast charging? Let me get one. Let me see if it's fast charging. Um, let's see if it's fast charging. And no, it's not. It's just regular charge. So basically, the charging, when you cut it on, it does charge the phone. But, but remember, you're using the battery that's built into the gimbal. So if you just need, you know, some extra charge, you need to keep using the phone, realize you are using the battery that's built into the gimbal to give you that power. So after I've rambled on, I know I've rambled and I'm sorry. Um, I do like it. It's going to take me a while to get um, to learn how to use it because there's a lot of functionality with this um, tilt and pan. You can lock it like I can lock it now. I can lock it here so it doesn't. I mean, I can lock it so it stays in this position. And, you know, that means it stays in this in this position all the time. So you can lock it in several positions. You can take the AR module off and put it on, you know, this way. And, you know, you have your camera face. You could do it. It'll follow you. It has a lot, a lot of um, technology built into it. And I think it's pretty good. For what I can see of it and what I have used of it, I do like it. So I'm gonna put the link in. I'm gonna put the link at the end at the bottom in case you want to buy. Like I said, right now on Amazon, as of maybe a day ago, it was one sixty nine, one sixty seven ninety nine. Normally goes for two oh nine, um, and I think even at two oh nine, it is a, it's at a good price. So. Um, that's all I have to say about the Ohem iSteady M6 kit and all that you get with it. I do like the um, actual, the hard case. I like this. I mean, a soft hard case. I do like the case. It is, um, for the, mon the money you're paying for it, should give you a case. Shouldn't be something that you're carrying in the bag, to be honest with you. Anything over $100, you know, to me, they shouldn't be giving you in the bag. It should be in a hard case. So that and a bag, you can do the hard case and a bag and 
with the hard case, it does come where you can put other things in here that you might need. Come with a mesh in there. And it's pretty easy to put in. Like that. So I and my initial thoughts of the whole helm I study M6. I do like it. Now I'm not saying I recommend to buy because I have to learn how to use it again. There's a lot of features, a lot of things you can do with it. The app is pretty decent. Um, now I'll be honest with you, I like the Insta360 app better. I really do like the Insta360 app better, but the whole helm app is pretty decent. It's not as robust as the 360 um, app to me. But their app is decent when I when I um, hooked everything up, registered it. You want to register it. Um, it? It didn't send me out no no firmware update, so I guess I'm on the latest firmware, which is pretty cool. So guys, um, that's all I have to say about the whole helm. Um, I steady M6. It's to me right now. Am my initial? Am I am I just looking at it, going over a few few of the features for forty five minutes to an hour? I like it. It's a lot that I have to learn how to use and I might not use it to its fullest capability because I might only need it for a couple of case, a couple of different scenarios. So guys, do me a favor before we go, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Again, I say please like, share, and subscribe and hit the notification bell icon that you can be notified anytime we drop a brand new video. Guys, and do me one more favor, favor, I said finger, favor, please give me a thumbs up. It helps us, you don't understand, the thumbs up help us get further into the YouTube algorithm. So please do that. And once again, this is your boy, the Geroographer, thanking you for coming with me on another unboxing journey. Just want to thank my current and new, new and current subscriber for still rocking with your boy, do me a favor. Do me a one more favor, please. Like, share, and subscribe. We got some more, um, some more unboxing coming soon. So, thank you. You have a good day. Peace.